Good morning friends. Today is 22nd September 2023, Friday 24th week in ordinary time. We are all called to constantly resist the temptations of worldly glory and ambitions and desires present all around us and strive to be good and committed Christians at all times. In our first reading today, St. Paul tells that the right way all of us as Christians should do our very best to distance ourselves from the many worldly temptations, especially the pursuit of wealth and treasures, properties and other forms of financial advantages and attachments. But first of all, we must also understand that money and finances are not themselves wicked or evil by nature and neither are the possessions and things in this world. They can both be useful for good and evil purposes in various ways. The first reading also mentions that love for money is the root of many evils. And this is indeed true as when our love and attention for money, for worldly comforts, glory and other attachments in life become greater than that of our love for God and our, for our brothers and sisters, that is indeed when we become selfish, self-centered and self-loving, seeking to enrich ourselves and to gather those things that we crave and desire without regard for those around us and in the process we may even end up hurting others and exploiting those who are less fortunate than us or those who we are in position of exploiting so that so that we can so that we may gain more benefits for ourselves jesus calls himself the servant of all who cannot who came not to be served but to serve yet even jesus at times needed the service of others and was grateful for the help that others gave him. Today's gospel passage draws attention to the ways Jesus was helped by a number of women who supported his cause. Their service to him enabled him to serve others. If Jesus needed the help of others, we also need it. We are called to, to serve but also to accept the service of others because we really need their help. Serving others calls for generosity. Letting ourselves be served calls for humility. We, are, we all have something worthwhile to give and something worthwhile to receive. Let's be grateful to those who journey with us and, and who help us through life. God bless us all today.